Alrighty, Wonderland has dropped their press release for the 2023 season, so you know what that means. I'm going to be talking about everything new for 2023. This might exclude a few minor details that we'll have to wait till the park opens to find and see and talk about. We also have a planned video with Canada's Wonderland that should come out around mid-March. That'll go into more detail, um, but let's just dive right into it. So for those of you that don't know, there was a lot of tea dropped in Wonderland's press release today. A lot of it centers around the two new rides coming to Canada's Wonderland 2023, and then a new food festival and Halloween Haunt receiving one of its biggest upgrades in a really long time. I'm super ecstatic to talk about the Halloween Haunt things in this video. So let's get right into it. So we obviously can't talk about uh, what's new in 2023 at Canada's Wonderland without talking about Snoopy's Racing Railway. Snoopy's Racing Railway, it, bleh, Snoopy's Racing Railway is a multi-launch tire launch coaster for the kids in Planet Snoopy. It'll feature a launch that takes you over through a course. It's very twisty. I almost have started calling it the Maverick, the Kids Junior Maverick Coaster at Canada's Wonderland. And then it'll go through a second tire launch that'll then bring you to the final part of the ride. Rumor does have it that it might only complete one cycle at Canada's Wonderland and not do the two cycle run like you see on Thunder Run. This is for capacity reasons. The same reason why the train has one extra car. It's a really fun and unique coaster and the minimum height requirement for this ride I believe is 36 inches. I will fact check that and put it on the screen if I am incorrect. But nonetheless it's a really beautiful ride and honestly it really suits Wonderland's lineup extremely well. I absolutely adore the decision to add this coaster in Planet Snoopy and you will require an adult or sorry you will require a child to ride this ride if you are an adult it is located in the kids section I know that's a little bit unfortunate but it's a really smart decision to keep the line slightly shorter for the kids the other attraction for the adults or the thrill seekers at Canada's Wonderland is Tundra Twister Tundra Twister is a fascinating ride first of its kind in Canada well actually it's first of its kind in the world Similar to Sledgehammer, Canada's Wonderland likes building these attractions that can't be found elsewhere. Furthermore so, Canada's Wonderland is going to focus on building attractions that don't already exist in Canada. So look forward to future attractions similar to this or coaster-wise aren't in Canada. Nonetheless, the big stuff. Canada's Wonderland is upgrading their Halloween Haunt event. Howling Haunt is going to feature eight haunted houses this year instead of the four, or sorry, the five that we saw last year. Three brand new ones. One is from a pre-exist, sorry, is a pre-existing Halloween Haunt attraction from Knott's Berry Farm. So I'm really excited about that because Knott's Berry Farm has a really good Halloween Haunt event. Um, but nonetheless, uh, th so there'll be three brand new ones and one upgrade or change from what I understand. I'm going to show you guys the one brand new one called Dark Ride that is from Knott's Berry Farm. So that's going to pop up right on the screen right about now. Base to ride part 46. Base to ride part 46. Come in. Yeah, hey, what's up? There's a disturbance reported at the abandoned Dark Ride. Please report to the location. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Oh. 
Another new thing coming in 2023 is the new food festival, Taste of Brazil, running from August 19th to the 20th. Um, it is replacing Brew and Barbecue. And um, honestly, it, it really, I, I love these multicultural food festivals. It really plays on World Expo. I'm gonna make a whole video about why I think World Expo is such an important thing coming to Canada's Wonderland um, and how I really think Wonderland could chase after the whole Epcot vision with World Expo. And I'd love to see um, them do something like that. So look forward to that video in the next um, couple of days working on that. But that is, so far, everything that's new. There are obviously Winterfest is returning, other food festivals, and other shows as well. Um, there's going to be a old show returning where uh, Tundra was in the castle in Medfair. Um, and all the loved old ones are coming back as well. Another new feature will be at Lazy Bear Lodge. They'll be having a VIP fireworks and dining experience. Limited availability, obviously. So this will be an upcharge attraction. And I'm assuming it'll be sitting right on the patio um, eating and enjoying the fireworks with the best view in the house. So, you know, I'm definitely going to try and check that out. <laughs> that sounds absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, I'm surprised they didn't take advantage of it of the first year. But then again, I remember Lazy Bear kind of opened after all the fireworks. So that makes sense. Um, so super excited to check that out. I believe that's everything new for 2023 so far from the press release. I probably missed a few things, but very minor things. And then obviously when the park opens, we'll be covering everything new for 2023 in greater detail. Anyways, thanks so much for checking out this video. Hope you're having an amazing week. And uh, guys, we're getting really close to Wonderland opening. So get those season passes ready. All right. Have a good one, guys. Bye.